right, so really e easy video today. We're going to go ahead and convert multiple bin files into a single bin file for use on emulators, or in this case, this is for a uh, modded PS3. Somebody was asking about it, and I thought I had the video uploaded, but I don't. I only have it done for uh, PSP, so some of them, if you looked at that, there was 50, 51 bin files. Other ones like this, you got two. So first things first, I went over here and I just downloaded the EXE again. Um, that's why it's got the little one there, because I already have it. But you're going to open it. It's going to do one of these dealies. Hit browse, just go to your documents or your downloads uh, and unzip it. Uh, I found that if you do it straight to your desktop, it's going to have some issues with crashing. So, didn't do it that way. But yep, just go to your documents or downloads, unzip, then you can drag it to your desktop. So, now that that's out of the way, that was also the 1.02.1 uh, beta. Um, if you do the 1.1, 1.0, 1 1.5, it doesn't have the save as option. You're going to run into a couple issues. So, download the beta. Um, I'll link this in the description of the video. So after that, you're just going to go ahead and open up CD Mage. I don't know why crap's taking so long to load today. There we go. Okay. File. Open. You go to the desktop. We'll do Rayman since there's so many. So now you have all your bins. Select your Q file. Open. It's going to take a few seconds here. Make sure you have your Rayman.q file selected. Hit File. Hit Save As. Just come in here and make a new folder really quick. And we'll just put Rayman Single. Open up that folder. Hit Save. Leave. Stop Extraction. Keep Broken Files. Leave everything just the way it is. Hit OK. Save completed successfully. So now we can go check. There is our single file, as you can see. File size is a bit bigger now. It's got all that combined. So. That is, we don't need that. That's how you do that. We'll go through and do another one. Back over to the desktop, Broken Sword 2, open up your Q file, make sure this top image is selected here, file, save as, whoops, can't spell it either. how you convert multiple bins into a single bin file. Now you can just take that bin, drop it into your FTP client or on a flash drive, and put it in your PS1 ISO folder on your PS3. So that is it. That's all you need to do.